Welcome to Persian Cat Corner and here we are, here we are with a 10 month update on the Little Robot 4. Long overdue, I did promise an update at 6 months um, but I didn't manage that, I was too busy with work and other things so here we are 10 months on, uh, I think my last update was probably 4 months I believe. Um, and not much has changed really, it continues to be reliable. Um, a vast improvement over the Little Robot 3. So if you do have the Little Robot 3 and you're thinking to upgrade, um, I've documented it in other videos, but it's much better all around, much more reliable. Um, I've owned, this is my third Little Robot now. I've owned them for probably about six or seven years at this point. Um, and it continues to be, in my opinion, the best automatic litter box on the market. It's certainly not perfect, you know, there are flaws with it. Um, I don't think it's worth the price that it's sold at. Um, however, I, you know, I, I'd be reluctant to uh, spend the similar sort of money on any of the other brands at the moment. Um, I just don't feel like they're proven enough and they've got the support and the, you know, little robots have been around for nearly, I think, 15, 20 years at this point. So they, they do have, you know, the proven experience that the products work and this is the fourth generation unit. Um, in terms of issues, I've had a couple of issues with the Wi-Fi. Um, so I keep my little robot under the staircase. We have like a storage area in this property right at the moment. Um, and I think maybe two or three times in the last 10 months, I've come downstairs and the connect button has been flashing or it's not, it's not been lit. Um, and it's just lost connection basically um, and I guess that is due to uh, the location it's quite far from my router where where the little robot is so it's probably just lost signal um, I am moving house in uh, hopefully in the next couple of months so I'll be having it in a different location so I will obviously see how that goes see if see if that reoccurs um but other than that it's been reliable i've not had the dome stopping upside down or anything like that they, they these sort of issues i did have with little robot 3 it's definitely more reliable um and it's better at odor control as well um with the previous little robot 3 i was having to put odorizers in the uh in the drawer i was putting them just down in the drawer at the bottom there, there was space to put them in. So, but I don't have to do it with these. Um, what I do buy is the bags. I don't buy the little robot bags. I don't really see the point in doing that. So I just buy these, uh, the lemon fragrance bags here in the UK. Um, you get a roll of them for about, I think they're about a pound in, um, they're either in B&M bargains or own bargains. Um, these were some other ones I bought. I think I got these from either Costco or Poundland or somewhere like that. But that the, the 40 scented bags, it doesn't help too much with the, the scent, but you can just smell them. They're, they're a little bit fresher smelling and they've got tie handles on them and they fit perfect. They fit absolutely perfect in the drawer. Um, so I'll show you that here. So I, I have recently emptied it, so it's the, the bag's obviously clean, but it, they fit just round the edge there. You can see you open them up and it, it just fits tightly around the edge, as you can see. So when it comes to emptying, it's a case just peel peel the bag off, you know, tie the bag up, and uh, there you have it, nice and easy. Just click that back on there, yeah. So that's, that's what I recommend. And in terms of litter, I mean, I have done a video on the various different litters out there for, for the litter robot. Um, the one I'm using at the moment, and I find to be the best um, for me, is this one. So it's the Sanicat Clumping Litter. The reason I'm buying this one as well is it's cost efficient. So if you're a member of Costco, here in the UK, I think it works out just under seven pounds for a 16 litre bag. And that's clumping litter, Sanicat, low tracking, low dust. Uh, my stock up on these, so I'll buy maybe five or six bags when I, I do a visit to Costco. And you can see what the litter's like. It works really well. Reasonably fine grain. I've just changed it, so I don't mind putting mine in. Um, it's a mixture 
fine grain. It's got the, the white particles and the gravel in as well. And it clumps up really well. Doesn't track too much either. And it's just a perfect litter for the litter robot. So that's that's my go-to litter. So if you are in the UK and you're a Costco member, keep your, keep your eyes out for it. There's been a couple of occasions when I've gone and it's sold out. But they do seem to have a decent supply of it. So... Overall, all my free cats, I've got free cats now, so um, I have a Maine Coon kitten. Um, he's he's 10 months old and he's very big, so he's he's already over 5.5 kilograms, um, just over, I think, 5.6 at the last weight. And I did have some problems with him, so he, he used the litter robot from day one. No issues, even as a kitten who was using it, using it fine. But as he's got bigger, there's, there's been, I've not had it recently, maybe about, um, maybe two months ago, there's a couple of occasions where he came out of the litter robot and he did have feces all in his fur. It was more when he had diarrhea on a couple of occasions. Um, and I don't know if he just was standing in it or what, but it was, the old drum was covered. Um, and then he came out, being a Maine Coon, he's got the long fur, so it's covered on his tail and things. But I've been watching how he uses it, and he puts his two front three feet on this protector here you've got on the, on the edge, and he now kind of puts his back end into the litter box that way, and touch wood, we haven't had a problem with it for a couple of months, but there was a point where I was thinking to myself, maybe the little robot's not big enough, for a large cat. I know it says, you know, on the website and all the information, it can be used with, with large breeds of cats. But my other Persian cat, he's, he's about four, four and a half, 4.7 kilogram. And then the British Short Air Teddy, he's 4.2, 4.3 kilograms. So Lockie, who's our new Maine Coon kitten, like you say, he's five and a half. He'll be close to six kilogram, I believe soon. So, and he's a big cat. He's really tall, long, as you'd expect from from a Maine Coon. And he's only going to get bigger because his uh, his dad was about ten kilograms. Um, so he's going to continue to grow. Anyone anyone who knows anything about the breed knows they take three four years to reach the full size. So it'll be interesting to see how the little robot performs with such a big cat using it. I'll continue to monitor and obviously document that. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of occasions and uh, my fan says she, she actually said at one point, I don't think it's any good. I don't think the little robot's any good for him. I think he's too big and that's why it's happening. Um, but then he seems to, it's almost like he's learned how to use it properly now. And, uh, you know, since I've seen him standing on the edge and not standing fully inside it, it we've not had any issues with him. But that might be just a consideration. So if you do have a large breed of cat, you know, fully grown Maine Coon, a Norwegian Forest, or even a big ragdoll. Um, that could be a consideration. Again, at this point, I'm not 100% sure. Would would that work? Would the litter robot work with a fully grown Maine Coon? I've, I've read reports online to say it will do, and they'll, they'll have no problems. But there's not massive amounts of space for a, a big cat, is there? So we'll see anyway. And I, like I say, I'll document that. But other than that, my other cats use it fine. There's no issues, like I say, it's a, it's a vast improvement over the Litter Robot 3. I still think it's overpriced. I've said this in nearly all of my videos. Um, it's a lot of money for what it is. You know, it's it's just cheap it's plastic, isn't it? And, you know, with an electric motor in and a few sensors, it's a, it's a piece of plastic, plastic moulded design with, with a motor and sensors. But you're paying for the patent, really, the technology and you know, the support network, um, what you get with it. And I also, I do like the app. So the app, it, it has something called um, Smart Scale. Oh, uh, yeah, Smart Scale. And it weighs, obviously, um, so you can, you can just see if that'll focus, so you can see, like, there's a partial recording there. But if I go into, so if I go out of the main list and then I go to Pets, so you can see there, there's Lockie. Um, it's showing his weight there. So it depends how he stands in it. So you can see 5.4, 5.5, 5.5. He's actually, when I've weighed him properly, he's about 5.6. 
So it's within, I would say it's within a, a pound or two of the actual weight. That one there for Milo, I don't think that's technically correct. 5.2, um, he's, he's more like 4.7. And then Teddy, you can see the weights of Teddy there. So he's about 4.2. Again, he's about 4.3. I find it under reads by about one pound. So the app's quite good. You know, it's good to use, good to check on uh, the status. You can see there the, the bag's empty and then the litter level. So it's at the optimal level there. And then you can see when the waste draws fall um, on there. And then you've got various different controls. So you can turn the lighting on or off. Um, you can delay the cycle. So depending on how often I just have it on the seven minutes average time for average clumps, don't seem to have any issues with that. Um, and then you can re obviously replace the filter, so cycle and replace. So yeah, the app's, the app's quite good. It's not something I click on every day, but it's something that's nice to have if you're, you know, remote or anything like that and you wanted to cycle it for whatever reason you can do. Um so yeah, that's my 10 month update. I won't keep you any longer. So I've, uh, I've rabbled on at this point for nearly 11 minutes. So if you are looking to purchase a litter robot, I'll leave a link below the video and I'll leave a link in the comments to a, uh, you'll get a $50 discount from it. So it's not a massive amount, but it's $50 off your purchase in your pocket rather than litter robots. Um, if you do click through the link, just so you know, I do get a small commission. Um, it just goes towards help funding the channel basically so i don't earn anything from this channel i don't have any ads on obviously i don't have many subscribers so just something that helps out you know buy a bit of uh, recording equipment or help you know post some articles on the blog um and if you're not a subscriber to the channel as most people who watch my videos aren't um be sure to like and subscribe um there's all things cat related predominantly persian cat but you know, I do have a few other breeds of cats as well, so I'll be sharing information on those. So thanks for taking the time to view the video today. And uh, yeah, leave your comments below if you have any questions or queries and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you. Thanks for now.